Hey everybody, it's Dan here with Excel VBA is Fun. This is our second free training in our series on the new XGrid control and how to use it in Excel. In this one, we're going to deep dive into how to install XGrid and actually get it set up on your computer, which is super fast. You basically hit next a few times. Then we're going to delve into how licensing works uh, as a developer and how you want to use that with your company or just for your personal use. All the different options that there are with the XGrid control, whether you're using it with Excel, Outlook, Word, or many many other different application types it works with all kinds of programming languages all right let's dive in let's talk about the X grid how to install it the demo versus the full version and basically just a little bit about the licensing we're gonna blaze through this so don't overcomplicate it but you need to know this if you're a developer and if you want to develop really cool stuff especially if you want to distribute it to other people so the trial version here's some of the benefits you can install unlimited number of copies of the demo or trial version to unlimited number of computers it doesn't matter but you cannot use it for any purpose other than for evaluation purposes so you're not going to be able to use this to develop completed applications and to distribute them uh, first of all it's going to have a nag screen that's going to be super unprofessional if you're distributing apps like that and number two it's unethical and trashy so uh, this is for practicing this is for seeing if this is something for you right also, as you can see at the bottom, it says the select count and the select item properties are not available in the demo, so it's barely restricted. There's a few properties that are disabled, not really many. You can basically see anything you want. And the select count and select item, they have to do with the number of selected items. So if you have a multi-select enabled, let's say you clicked on these three particular items, well, it, you couldn't get the number of items that were selected, aka the selection count. So anyway, then you couldn't loop through the number of selected items. 99.9% .9 of the features do work right out of the box, even on the demo trial version, so it's, it's really wonderful to follow along with the course and to try everything out. Now with the full version, it is royalty free and runtime license fee free. Now what that means is that when you purchase the product, any of the X Control products, uh, one copy per developer on your project, uh, you can distribute the component you purchased with your application without paying any runtime fees to the company, to X Control. So if your app sold, let's say 10 million copies, you still wouldn't have to pay a dime. You wouldn't have to pay anything more than what you already paid the one-time fee uh, for the control once and for all. Now, they do offer free unlimited updates for a year and unlimited support for that one-year period. You can get a subscription if you want, but you don't have to. You, it'll keep working forever with no problems. You just won't get any new features if they upgrade the product later on in later years. So uh, that's one thing. Now, there are different versions. There's the ActiveX COM. That's the one we're interested in. There's also the .NET Assembly or the WPF component that you can get. Uh, you can get it in 64 or 32-bit either way. Now, with the ActiveX and COM is the one that we're highlighting, the one we're talking about, because that's what Excel uses. It uses ActiveX components. All right, now, you're going to need to make a choice when you're using Excel uh, if you're going to use 32-bit for this is not for 32-bit windows okay this is for excel 32-bit or excel 64-bit now most typical users will install 32-bit because it's got a lot better features and it's not as wonky and not as limited but some people do opt to install a 64-bit so if you want to cater to both you're going to need the any version a n y version that encompasses 32-bit and the 64-bit both of the dll and activex files but uh, and that's what i have i have the entire suite in fact with the a n y the any type so it comes with a n s i and unicode for 32-bit and 64-bit but normally you can choose one or the other if you don't want to cater just to one client type here's what you can normally do normally people are going to get a single developer license this is what i have a single developer can install and use one copy of the product and you can't copy or lend the product to anybody uh, you can also get it in uh, batches so for a developer team let's say you had three people on your team and that way any three of you uh, or more could be using and developing with the grid or whatever X, X control uh, control that you have. You could do a site license. Let's say you had a big company and you wanted everybody at your company to be able to utilize that on any of their company machines and transfer them back and forth between your company machines.
And then finally, they also have a source license. I don't find this to be useful for me. It's much more expensive. It, they give you basically the source code so you can see behind the veil and you can see what all is included in this. But I don't typically need that for what I'm doing uh, because if I need something fixed, I can just reach out. Uh, but you may find that you want to see the source code and you might need to make tweaks for your own very specific need. But usually everything's already pretty well contained in the regular product. Like I said, there's no limitations, there's no nag screen, and no coding limitations in the full version. So the, the nag screen that was at the very bottom of this control is no longer there and then there's full feature uh, with the full version. So let's show you how to install this. I'm going to go ahead and open up a TeamViewer session on my other computer, my laptop. So if you'll take a look at the download kit. And Hold up. Download kit? What's that? Listen, that's pertaining to those who have purchased the full course. Don't worry about that. If you need to follow along and install the demo, just click the link above your screen right now or go to the video description or go to this website that's also flashing on your screen. Grab the demo and follow along. So pause it now okay you probably didn't even pause it anyway let's continue on and you go into section one on the basics we're going to go into the demo installer folder assuming that you don't already have the full version and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the demo for the 32-bit ANSI because most of my customers are going to be using Excel 32-bit and so uh, there is a way that we can program it to work with either but it's just there's a lot more to that let's just do it the simple ansi so just regular english characters not symbols and squares and things like that so ansi 32 so all i have to do is double click on this this is in your help file in your download kit and here is the installer there's the preview if you rotate it to the left you can hit the left arrow key read up on it a little bit you already know plenty about this control so let's go and just hit the install button now. Now with the full version, the only difference in the installer is that there is an area at the very bottom for you to put your installation license key. And that license key just basically tells it to install a special version so that you'll have a special folder of DLL files and ActiveX COM objects that you can install to other computers. So we're just going to install the demo version for right now. Click on install. And if you're following along, it just takes a second. So we'll zoom to the end. All right, that's pretty much it. A little message says you're done. And then it takes you to the program files x control slash x grid folder. And uh, there's some different links on there. And you even have the x helper tool, which we are going to review in a later lecture. Now, if you're ready to go ahead and purchase the control at any given time, uh, we'll give you many opportunities. But we do have a link in here. And if you want to use this link, this is it, this is an affiliate link. So you can go to the full version folder instead of the demo version. Go to the full version folder and just double click on that link. All right, we'll see you in the next lecture. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper.